Hey guys, Angus here from Pegasus PT. So at the end of this video, um, you guys are going to be able to make a bit better food choices um, to try and finally reach whatever your fitness goal might be, fat loss or whatever. Um, so I've been going through our food diaries we give our members and there's been a couple of things that are pretty common across the board. Um, some mistakes people are making with their diet and I think it just comes down to um, a bit of lack of knowledge about what their food's actually made of. So. When, you when you're making food choices, there's two things um, that's important to know. The first one is what your food's made out of. So everything you eat will be made out of a, um, one or more of a combination of these three macronutrients. So you've got protein, fats, and carbohydrates. These three macronutrients uh, make up everything you eat, basically. Uh, the second thing that you need to know is what these macronutrients do in your body and what role they play. So um, Protein has a role in um, some, some structure, so you build up your muscle, your tissues, um, and also some hormones. Fats are used structurally also in hormones and in the cell wall for your cellular health. And with protein and fat, there's a lot of other metabolic sort of stuff going on. Carbohydrates, on the other hand, are purely an energy source, and they're not used structurally within the body. So now knowing these things, what your food's made out of and what they do in the body, um, you can start to look at foods and see what they're made up out of and start making choices about um, what that, what's going to happen in your body when you eat those foods so you're making the right choices. So one thing that's pretty common across the board is that most people eat a very high carb diet and they're too low in protein and fat. And the problem with that is um, carbohydrates your body's preferred energy source. So Anything you bring in to your body, any carbohydrates that you don't actually use for energy right then, they're going to be stored as fat. Your body's going to get them in, it's not going to want to waste them, so it's like, I'm going to save these for later, and it's going to get stored as a fat tissue, because it's not used structurally at all. Um, like I said, on the other hand, proteins and fats are going to be used elsewhere in the body. So how can you put this together? How can you start making some better food choices? Um, easy way to do it is when you're putting your plate together, divide it up. So you want at least half your plate to be veggies, a uh, quarter of your plate to be protein, and what's left over to be quality fats. Now what foods do these look like? So protein is pretty simple. Um, any meat, any red meats, fish, chicken, or eggs. That's just to name a few. Um, some good quality fat sources, avocado, olive oils, um, butter, grass fed butter, and fatty cuts of meat. And then when you're going to choose your carbohydrates you have, you want to avoid your things like your breads, you want to avoid your uh, pastas, your potatoes, or if you're going to have them, do them around training time. So hopefully that helped you guys a little bit today. Um, start looking at what your foods are made out of, what macronutrients are made out of, what they're going to do to your body, and then start making choices based on that. Um, so that you can you know, reach your fat loss goals, um, reach your muscle gain goals, or whatever goal it is you might be trying to reach in the gym. So if you need any help with this, guys, you can drop me an email, info at pegasuspt.com.au, and um, I'll be in touch with you shortly. See you later.